colorful one like a dream You wake me up with a new white smile And I know I'm truly alive I wanna save every moment now Hold tight my love, we got this Welcome to another vlog. It's actually the 1st of April today. The only reason I know that, because the dates and the days seem lost on me at the moment, is because I've seen a few April Fool's things floating around. So I'm assuming that I'm right when I guess it's the 1st. It's Daisy's birthday this month. She turns four on the 21st. And um, I have no idea what to expect, but one thing that feels kind of certain is that we won't be seeing anyone which makes me quite sad for her because she's already said that she won't get to give anyone hugs on her birthday and that just breaks my heart a little bit um we had like the foresight when all of this like started to think right it's probably a good idea just to get their presents now um because things are harder to get a hold of like when you can't get a hold of toilet roll you start thinking well what else do i need to panic about so we've already got most of her um, birthday presents we bought on behalf of family as well so we can like wrap them in fact that's one thing i need to try and get a hold of wrapping paper i mean i don't know where to get that where i live because like the card shop won't be open i don't think um going off on a tangent there but it's just weird to like think about things that normally you would just go right well we'll go out for a big family meal and we'll like I don't know, we'll have a nice day out for it and we'll get toys and stuff and now it's a bit like I have no idea how to celebrate this and make this as special as I can for her without being able to go outside. The only thing I'm hoping for, fingers crossed, is that it's like towards the end of April so maybe it'll be a bit warmer. The sun has gone away again which makes this harder I find. There's just, it's just not the same without the sun. Like I don't know how I'm trying to explain it very well but it's, it's like when you woke up every morning and it was sunny, everything just felt a little bit brighter somehow and going out in the garden was a lot easier. Not that we can go out anyway at the moment because our bricklayer, Andy's here today. Um, it's just him at the moment working away, but he's pretty much got the walls to the same height as like the top of the garage now. So that's like the first floor done, which is very exciting, or ground floor, I should say. Um, so yeah we can't go out during the day as it is unless we go for a walk but if we're going to go for a walk i would like to save that up as like a family walk so mark can come with us because you only get the one a day don't you um but it's going to be like a kind of homeschooly day today i'm taking a very relaxed approach because of the age gaps that i've got like i physically cannot do a full day of school with bill and have those two feel happy and entertained throughout that as well i mean this is an example of the age gap we've got at the moment he's there and they are there, they're like role playing or something like with babies, I'm not really sure what's going on but you can hear them chatting away. Um, I'm feeling, I'm feeling okay today, I had a really bad day yesterday, I'm not like, I'm not even going to beat around the bush, like I cried and I just was struggling, like my mental health was just really affected yesterday, I was just feeling a bit blue, um, but today I feel a bit better. Babies, mummies, and brothers. Babies, mummies, and brothers. And baby, and I'm like, we got baby girl. I'm out my tummy. Oh really? And the mummy stylish the brother. Oh fantastic! Congratulations. I get a candy and a blanket. I got a candy and a blanket. This is a girl, Paddy. Okay. And this is a girl. Um. Um. A pink blanket. This, this pink one is for girls. Well, it could be for boys too. Yeah, I just, oh, she's very cold. Okay, see it's you later. Crazy. But um, yeah, I'm gonna set up a teddy bears picnic themed learning thing today. So we're gonna do try and bake some cakes if we've got anything in that I can bake cakes with. Fingers crossed we have. I'm gonna do like reading teddy bear books. 
and um, we're gonna make a picnic and have it in here they're gonna choose a bear we're gonna like sing the song and um, we're gonna draw pictures of our bears and write invitations to our bears say do you want to come and then that will like be our morning sorted and then after the picnic itself Stan will have a nap I'll do some one-on-one -on -one learning with these two and then before we know it it'll probably be time for our like daily play in the garden once Andy's gone and um, time for dinner so yeah bring you along with me so I thought I would show you what is in their snack boxes today uh, Daisy and Stan have already taken one each out of theirs Bill's about to have one but we've got some hula hoops a banana we have some mini jammy dodger biscuits and then these they're like fruit strings so strawberry apple and orange and then um, they're a bit better than sweets anyway but they really like them so that's what they're having for today Yeah, that would do. Oh, yeah, hot. It's like a chocolate volcano spreading a little bit. Chocolate, yeah, hot chocolate. 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 Hot that's easy. Do you 12 times table? 12, 24. Oh, yeah. So put them into piles of two. Good job, Stan. I'll do another one. I'll do that. No, Stan, do another one. Teddy bear. I want you to go and find a, a teddy bear. A bear. A okay? Bear. Everyone Sounds go and find a bear. You can help. So we have just done the invites to our bears. So this was Stan. So I drew a bear and he coloured it in. And he coloured on the back as well. And then Bill wrote a invite, so it's actually a card, to his bear, who is a panda. And he's put, Dear Chubbs, we have invited you and your friends to a teddy bear picnic. See you soon. Love, William. And then Daisy drew this, which I thought was really good. It's really good, right? Is that just me? But this is where we stick what we've done for the day on our battered old shortboard. And um, just highlights how well they've tried. So that's that done. And now we're going to do face paints. Close your mouth. Like this. You'd opened it. <laughs> right. You want to do you two? Yeah. What do you want to be, Stanny? Uh, Why do you do a cute little um Billy the panda? Why do you do a cute little brown bear cup? That'll be cute. Brown bear cup. <laughs> right, close your eyes. Oh. <laughs> you look a bit like Coco. Like that. That's funny. Head up. Like that. I'll do your eyes in a minute. I'm gonna make you a doggy, darling. Head up. Ah. Look, you're a doggy. Look, look. Right, Daisy's turn. Red lips. I want to be a spotty cat. I want to be a spotty cat too. You want to be a spotty cat too? <laughs> it's not my best way. 
Yeah, I think that would do. Annie! What do you want, darling? You want some red? Yeah! No, you go. Where is he? Where is he? Where is he? Where is he? You know what I think we should do? I think we should go and show Dada. Shall we? Dada! Shall we go and show him? Look! Go and show Dada. What? What's his name? <laughs> Are you a doggy? And you're yeah. a cat. He's a disco cat. You like something from Coco. I said that. <laughs> oh. Are you a doggy? Yeah. Woof woof. Woof That was fun, wasn't it? I'm knackered. I've um I've been trying to really try today after not nailing it quite so much yesterday to be honest. Like I just found it really hard and they found it really hard. Um but we've done what have you done? We made the crispy cakes, we did invites to our teddy bears, we chose our teddy bears that we wanted to come to the picnic. We have done face paints, that was a bit random, I just found it in a craft, um, like I've got a big bag of stuff in the cupboard under the stairs and I thought oh you know what I'm just going to do it, it'll be fun. So we we did that and we have a panda a puppy, a Dalmatian puppy and a cosmic disco cat and then we just done speaking of cosmic cosmic kids were going on a bear hunt yoga just to sort of like burn some energy and i've stuck a disney toy story short on with disney plus which is amazing by the way and i'm going to make them their teddy bears picnic now and then hopefully when stan has a nap we can have a rest for a little bit and then i'll do some individual work with those two i think depending on what the mood's like because daisy's not great at the moment because before all of the coronavirus thing kicked off she had an ear infection and her eardrum perforated managed to get antibiotics because before any of the social distancing even came into play weirdly stan also had the same thing but he recovered really nicely then she started like having her ear leaking again so i had to message on like the gp app because obviously you don't go in at the moment unless it's urgent and they sent some antibiotic drops across to the pharmacy which I picked up and they've been working fine but now her other ear has burst and is doing the exact same thing and she's in a lot of discomfort so she can't really wear her hearing aids because they leak into the aids and then could damage them which I don't want to risk at the moment because obviously we can't just go to the hospital to get new hearing aids like casually anymore and then she also won't wear her glasses at the moment either because like her ears are sore and like god forbid to try and wipe any leakage it's, it's not nice um so she's a bit like up and down do you know what i mean like she's not she's in a bit of discomfort she'll join in for a bit but then she gets a bit sad and wants to cuddle so just depending on her mood i might i might just see how we go with her later but i'm gonna make make a little picnic for them now so this is lunch they've got salami and cheese sandwiches some leftover cocktail sausages that need cheesing up and cucumber tomato and strawberry and they've all got the same and then these are the crispy cakes and they've got a pepper pig yogurt as well for their picnic. Mama, oh, are you going down there? Are you going to eat? Was it easy when you were a little boy playing in the kindergarten? Easy. <laughs> When he makes you a sausage and egg bagel. Thanks, Mark. So I'll be honest with you, I am very much hiding in the kitchen right now. Um, oh, I made an error, a parenting error. I put Stan down for a nap later than what I normally would do because he was playing really nicely. We've got like um, a doll's house with some Aldi actually. Daisy got it for Christmas two Christmases ago I think it was and they love it and they were playing really nicely together I didn't want to like 
break that up and I asked him if he wanted a nap and he was like no so I left it and feel like we went too far out of the other side of the nap time spectrum because when I finally took him upstairs he just went mental like he was so worked up he went bright red you could see it even under like the leftover face paint um, and I just had to like try and calm down. He was literally having an almighty paddy on the landing, and I felt so bad for him because I felt like it was my fault. And then at the moment when your kids are emotional, and like you want to just think it's like a normal, like, oh, it's just turn two, so it's a two year old thing. But then at the same time, you don't know how they're dealing with this because this isn't normal, like sitting in all the time and. Like they've stopped asking what we're going to do today now and they've stopped asking to go out which is quite sad really um like they've accepted it which in one way is a positive i suppose but it's just rubbish but i just held him afterwards and like eventually what it like cuddle and he tried to calm down and eventually he did but he was doing one of those you know those breaths where they go like like that and it just uh, broke my heart but then I looked down at my jumper and it was covered in like snot, face paint, tears, chocolate from the chocolate cake that he'd eaten and I was like right we're gonna have to get you cleaned up so I cleaned his face he's in like a clean top his trousers are fine and um, I've changed my top and I've actually put leggings on because I was just at that point where I was like, why the hell am I wearing jeans? Why am I wearing jeans? Because it's, where am I going? And they're so, they're not really uncomfortable, but they're not comfy. Like, I wouldn't put them in the comfy category, would you? Um, and I just, I don't know what to do now, because I've tried so hard today. And I know that I should get, like, the worksheets out, and I should try and do stuff like that, but they're both sat with like Bill's watching a Pokemon movie or he was anyway five minutes ago that boy changed his mind a lot and then Daisy is sat on the iPad and they're just both happily chilling and I feel like the mum in me knows that that's absolutely fine and that's what they want to do and you know the days are quite long here so you might as well fill your time with what you want to do but then there's this pressure from like you know the whole teacher side or I'm like oh but I should be doing stuff with them I should be like making them do worksheets and I should be like doing this or that and being more like you know scheduled um, and we are a scheduled family to a degree but I also believe in like having just like off the cuff random fun and just like seeing what they want to do that day rather than planning it too much but I don't know what to do. I think, to be honest, right now, they need a break from me. And I, in all honesty, need a break from them. And I think I might try and do a bit of work on my computer now. Because I don't think either of those two really even, like, want me for anything. You know, when they just want to be on their own and chill. Just like you do. I think when kids get to a certain age, they start to appreciate, like, alone time. Um, yeah, I think that's what I'm going to do. to be the one you can trust I feel so useless cause I let you down I hope there's some way I can make it alright cause I know that you deserve much more than this if you give me one more chance I swear I'll try my best to always be there and I Well done, Stan. You're gonna help him down. So the kids are playing hide and seek, although it's the worst game ever because I feel like they couldn't organise piss up in the brewery those three because they're just, they just, I don't know, I don't know what it is, but I 
we are fighting. I am removing the bra because it's that time. It's five o'clock and I'm done. I am done. I'm tired. I edited most of this vlog, so that was weird because I don't normally edit the vlog on the same day. I would do it the day following, but had some time. I tried with those two to do stuff, but Bill was like, Mama, I'm really tired. We did things this morning. And I was like, right, you know what? Just chill. Just chill. I had to take Daisy's one hearing aid out that she had in because both of her ears are leaking and it just breaks my heart. I've like cleaned them up and stuff and put her antibiotics in. I know it'll kick in eventually, but it's just hard because like she can't hear us as well as normal um but we are having pizza and chips and salad for dinner which is not the most i don't know imaginative meal ever and it's probably not the most nutritious either but it's just like the level of what i feel like doing today everyone will eat it everyone will enjoy it there is going to be salad with it so it's vegetables can't complain there and um it's minimal like you know cooking on my part because i can keep an eye on them better i'm hoping then once we've eaten we can all go outside and just get some fresh air in the garden and just calm down for the evening i'm just looking forward to having an evening just me and mark watching this is us and tiger king i'm gonna have one of those crispy cornflake cake things because i've not had one yet and i'm really excited for that it's another day done another day where we're all healthy and well and I have chocolate later, so there's that. And I didn't eat any biscuits today either, so, you know, win-win for Shah there. But I'm gonna go and cook this food now. And by cook, I mean put it in the oven. And I'm just gonna run around with these three for a little bit until Mark's done, which should hopefully be in about 10 minutes. me on a treasure hunt I long for something new Have you heard the fairies when they sing and dance Oh, I wish it was me Every night When I close my eyes I see Trust you when you say. Oh, 